Hey friends, in this video we will try to classify motion into different types based on the kinematic variables that we have seen so far. So the variables that we have so far are the displacement, the velocity and the acceleration. So based on these variables we will try to classify motion. When do we call a substance to be in motion? It must be moving right with respect to some observer. So it must have some velocity. So we start our classification from velocity. If this velocity is constant, which means its value is not changing, then we call the motion uniform. So for uniform motion, velocity should be constant. And if the velocity is changing, then the motion is not uniform. As simple as that. So the motion will be called non-uniform. Okay. Now for uniform motion, since the velocity is constant, the change in velocity will be equal to zero. And that means the acceleration of the particle will be zero in the uniform motion. Let's move on to the non-uniform motion. And we can classify this further by the help of the value of acceleration. Because in non-uniform motion, acceleration is not equal to zero. So then acceleration can be constant or it can be changing. So it changes. When acceleration is constant, it is a non-uniform motion but we call it uniformly accelerated because what is constant here value of acceleration so we call it uniformly accelerated motion and when the acceleration changes we call it non uniformly accelerated motion for example the circular motion falls into this category of non-uniformly accelerated motion whereas the projectile motion or free fall etc fall into this category of uniformly accelerated motion. In the next video we are going to derive the equations of motion and it is very important for you to understand that we are going to apply those equations only in this domain that is for uniformly accelerated or uniform motion. It is only on this domain that the equations of motion are valid. So you can apply equations of motion only in this domain. Either uniform or uniformly accelerated motion. And if the motion is non-uniformly accelerated, then all you have are these definitions a equals to dv upon dt, v equals to dx upon dt and a equals to d2x upon dt squared. So in the next video we will talk about the equations of motion. See you there. Bye bye.